Okay, here I am with my most amazing Year 9 class, uh, and we're doing our very last practical. So I'm going to go around and they're going to tell us what they're making in the very last practical where they have their own choice to make whatever they want. Let's see how many brownies we have. What are you making, Mini Hench? Uh, raspberry cheesecake. Ooh, that sounds nice. Are you going to have enough time to do it in, in, in one lesson? Yeah. Okay, so we've got some, some gluten-free uh, biscuits. Yeah, I've checked them, they're, they're, they're good. We've got a raspberry, what's in there? The raspberry and some juice to make like a sorbet. Okay, and then what's gonna make the, um, the oh, you've got soft cheese and, all right, looking forward to seeing that. All right, my man, what are we making? Uh, a burrito, some burritos. So what, what are we gonna do for that? We're just gonna cook off some chicken with some yeah. onions and... Onions and peppers and a little bit of seasoning. What season are you using? So, all of the seasoning. For heater seasoning, good. Yeah, right, keep going. Need any more, but if you do, that's your. Sure. Right, what are you making? Uh, marble cake. Marble cake. Yeah. Hey, watch if we don't want them on video. Yeah. All right, let's see how it comes out then. What are we making over here? Vegetable Vegetable fajitas. I've got a lot of heaters going on. Yeah. So I'm just gonna fry up the vegetables. Any, any seasoning or anything? Um, okay. I'll come back to that. All right, what are we doing here? Shortbread. Shortbread. So what's in there so far? Sugar. Sugar, butter, and vanilla. And vanilla. How much butter's in there? It looks like an awful lot. So, what's the ratio of flour to fat? So, how much flour are you going to add? Now, a shortbread should be a ratio of three to one. Three parts flour to two parts fat to one part sugar. So let's see what we end up with. I'll come back. I'll come back. To that. What, what technique are you using? Are you using rubbing in, or, or are you using the creamy method? Okay. We'll see what happens then. What are you making? Uh, I'm making bomb. Are you using the food at one on one recipe? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Look at your little face. Bet you are. Okay. What's oh oh? So what are you making? Is who's this? What are you making? Huh? S'mores bars. What's that? Alright, I'm going to come back and see it. It looks into it. What, who's, who's is that there? Two more minutes, Ruben. They're yours? Is that chicken? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Alright, uh, moving on. Okay, Google, what are you making? Uh, sticky chicken with coleslaw. Chicken, okay. So chicken's already in the oven. Okay, okay. Alright, good. Oh, this looks interesting. It's pretty. Basically, Nutella chocolate. Twist. Yeah. All right. Chocolate had to feature in some way in the final dish. Yeah. Oh, what are you making? A strawberry and chocolate marble. Oh, okay. Nice variation. Using the one-on-one -on -one recipe, a variation of that. Uh, half and half. Okay, good. I like I like innovation. What are you making? Cookies. Cookies. All right. What kind of cookies? Chocolate chip. Chocolate chip cookies. Is it chocolate chips here? Yeah. That, that's the sugar. All right. Good. And what are you making? Cake. What kind of cake? Don't know. You're making a don't know cake? Yeah. I heard they're nice. Okay, yeah. good. What are you making? Shortbread. Shortbread. What kind of ratio are you using? So how much flour to how much sugar to how much fat? Um, a lot more flour to sugar. Do you know by how much? What does your recipe say? Let's have a look. Okay, so as a, as a rough guide, three, two, one. Three parts flour, two parts fat, one part sugar. So going forward, that gives you an easy way to remember it. What are you making? Cookies. Cookies? Okay, obviously. Uh, I thought it was browning at first. You're going to roll them up in the balls or, or you roll, roll them out of cut shapes? What are you going to do? In a bowl. In a bowl? Let's set the mixture. Alright. Uh, use some greasy paper and get it on. Chips. Chips? Yeah. Regular chips, anything special about these chips? Nice so how, how are you, how are you going to make your chips then? Because uh, uh, the boiling, so I can get them. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Any seasons or anything? Yeah, I'll put some salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. All right, salt and pepper chips. Okay, moving on to the middle section. What are you making here? Huh? Cookies. A lot of cookies going on. What kind of cookies? Chocolate cookies. Okay. I might have sampled those some of those. Make sure they're okay. And you're making is that Nutella? Chocolate, chocolate spread. Yeah. Chocolate, similar, similar. chocolate what? Twists. Chocolate twists. 
Okay, I'm, I'm gonna like to see what they come out and like. Good. All right, I'll pick this up in a bit. It's looking good. Ooh. Fudge. Ooh. So what how's the recipe say to make fudge? Bring to a boil. 15 to boil for 15, 20 minutes. Stirring all the time. Bubbles when it goes does take off. Heat, stir, and turn to heat. Okay. So what what's in there so far? You got sugar? Sugar, Alright, that sounds about right. Keep going. So, how are you gonna, what's the end stage? Are you going to pour it under, under grease with paper or? Yeah. Make sure you line that properly, because otherwise it's never come, coming out again. All right, I'll just return back to that. It looks good. What are you making? I'm making churros with a chocolate dip. And what's in here? Talk to me what we just said uh, before. We've got 56 grams of unsalted butter, uh -huh. uh, water, a bit of salt, and a bit of sugar. And so it's brought to a boil. Yeah. So we've reduced it to a medium to low heat. Yeah. And now we're going to add uh, about 140 grams of flour. Okay, that sounds interesting. Let's see what happens. And then make churros quite like this before. Well, neither. I've never made them in my life. Okay. And then I've got to stir constantly with this water spatula. All right. And then I've also got to keep my eye on that oil because that doesn't burn. Interesting. All right. I'll we'll turn back to see what that looks like. Right. You're using that spatula as well as a wooden one? Uh, yeah, it's a rubber spatula. All right. All right we'll see what happens. We're going to use a food thermometer. Now. Believe it or not, I've never actually used one of these before. Uh, careful, it's going to start bubbling up over you. Should we, should we, should we, should we lower it down? All right, so what temperature are we looking for for this? For the, you're making fudge, what temperature should we be looking at? Um, All right, take it off so it's just not actively bubbling so it doesn't burn you. All right, so 150. Five ninety nine. What are we looking for? And then three. And then three. Is that hundred and three? No, that's is that hundred and three though? It's like hundred and three. All right. My boy here is going for the healthy option. <laughs> <laughs> Just heaping on that so golden got the, got the syrup. <laughs> Deep fried churros with chocolate sauce, with chocolate and syrup. Just I in case we were, we were worried that there wasn't enough sugar in there. There we go. All right. Mmm. That rice looks lovely. Mm. What seasons have you got on that, on that chicken? Uh, smoked paprika and... Do you, do you cook at home? Uh, no. No? Okay. You're doing a good job here. Looks like it's turning into fudge. Look at your little face. I'm so proud, sir. Look at my fudge. Chocolate twist. Chips being flipped. Alright. Looky, looky. Is there anything in there to make them, to make them set? Anything in, the, in, in this part to make it set? No, but it's not supposed to be Okay. I'm thinking, how, how, how are you going to get them home? I've got that. Okay, she's prepared. I need, I need, are these ones that are safe? Let me, let me just make sure that they're, they're still safe, because sometimes they can go off yeah. quite for a lesson. Mmm. Okay, here we have poached egg. Tricky thing a poached egg. Poached egg on toast. Well done. Eggs out there, nice little laid out. Well done. Squeeze and you decide when you, how long when you want to stop Six it. Six inch length. Go again. Cool. Cooking chips is a real art. I have to taste one to make sure though. Yeah. I've got a load of chocolate sauce oh. left over if anyone wants 
Yeah. You're alright. Mm. Top of the inside. Perfect. Cooking chips is a real art. I have to taste one to make sure though. Mm. I've got a load of chocolate sauce oh. left over if anyone wants. You're alright. Mm. Top of the inside. Perfect. What have we got here? Uh, sticky chicken and coleslaw. So I've made a sticky chicken. Um, it was in a sauce that had like ketchup and bunch of sauce. Well done, Google. What have we got here? Uh, chocolate Nutella twist. Oh, yeah. The smell of chocolate and the butter in the pastry. Well done. Uh, who's the these over here? Who's the these? Chocolate chip cookies. Moving on, are they, are they brownie cookies? Well done. Take all the grease, take all the grease, they are sweet. I'll just check to make sure these are doing safe. Wow. What have we got here? Mm. Oh, it's dying for the layer. What's this for? Oh, I'd like to try. 